from the Portland City Commissioner position four race. Chloe, you daily seat. It is a three way race right now, almost basically a tie. Yeah, we see uh, seven people challenging you daily for her seat on Portland City Council. Our Lindsay Nadrich is live in downtown Portland tonight with more on this highly contested race. Lindsay? Yeah, as you guys mentioned, Chloe U. Daly is facing a strong challenge from former Portland Mayor Sam Adams and former City Hall employee Mingus Maps. The top two would move on to the general election in November. I spoke to all three candidates earlier this evening. All right, we've got the uh, first uh, round of ballots out, and uh, it's a nail biter. We're very excited about this. This has to be one of the closest city council elections in, in Portland history. I feel good. I mean, it's a it's a roller coaster for sure. It's uh, interesting the different the different uh, stages of campaigning that you go through. The race for position four on Portland City Council is a close one. Former City Hall employee Mingus Mapp said he knew this would be a tough race. I get the intensity and the seriousness of this moment. You know, if we go back even 100 years, Oregon still had laws that forbid African Americans from even being in the state. And now here I am working on becoming the third African American to ever serve, our African American male to serve on city council. So it's exciting and it's a heavy responsibility. Both Mingus and former mayor Sam Adams had Zoom watch parties with supporters. Campaigning has looked very different during this pandemic. It's been a, a great campaign. We've, uh, despite the pandemic, we've been able to, you know, get out and meet people virtually, uh, thanks to Zoom and uh, social media and emails. It's no substitute for in-person, interactions, but um, I've just been uh, so grateful for the amount of support. At last check, you daily still had a slight lead. Tonight I feel excited and just kind of looking forward to this uh, phase of the campaign being over and uh, I'm hoping I get to go back to work and tomorrow and solely focus on on my job, which is extra challenging right now. Uh, or if not, I will likely be heading to a runoff and at least that will be a more focused campaign. And it's a very close race right now. You daily still has a slight lead at 30%, but Mingus and Maps are just 2% behind and they're neck and neck for that second spot. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News. Lindsay, thanks. Now, we do know there will be some new faces on the Portland City seats here. City Commissioner Seat 1 replacing Amanda Fritz. Uh, we'll update you on those results a little later in the show. We want